What's up guys, Forest Knight here, and today we're gonna to take a final look at the Mark Price, iOS 10, and Swift 3 Udemy course. Quite the mouthful. Here we go. All right, just to start off, full disclosure, or disclaimer, just, I think it's disclosure. Full disclosure, I've completed 70% roughly of this course in you may say, well, if you haven't completed 100%, how can you give a final review? Well, that 30% chunk, most of it, has to do with designing in Sketch 3 and developing an Objective C. And I decided not to do the designing in Sketch 3 videos just yet because I've been designing in Adobe XD since I have Adobe Creative Cloud. It's free for me since, yeah, of course, I have to pay for the Adobe Creative Cloud, but I already have it. So might as well take advantage of that Creative Cloud so I can use Adobe XD. Although Sketch 3 is real good, it only costs 100 bucks for lifetime, I don't need to use it because I have a WXD. And as for Objective-C, I know for the next at least year I'm going to be doing a Swift iOS development. So if I try to learn Objective-C now and for the next year I do Swift development, I'm not going to remember any of that Objective-C. So I'll keep all of this material so if I run into an Objective-C problem, I can reference back to this or I can reference back to whatever I find on Google. It's one of the biggest software developer tools is Google, Stack Overflow, whatever material I can find online of Objective-C, I'll use that. So there's no point right now to go through those courses. Actually, let me take a step back. I may go through the uh, Designing with Sketch 3 course just to see their thought process and their design process because it doesn't really matter what uh, software you use. I'll be using Adobe XD, they use Sketch 3 because the process, the thought process and design process are going to be the same or at least very, very similar. So just get straight to the point, I really enjoyed this course. So just to talk about a few good things about the course, you know, when I entered this course, I had basic knowledge in Java and C++, so basic programming knowledge, but I didn't know really anything about Xcode, and I didn't know anything about Swift. I knew I can convert the languages I knew into Swift, but there are definitely some different syntax from Swift to Java and C++. So that was at the beginning of the course. Now at the end of the course, I'm comfortable to open up Xcode, you know, create my UI, set my constraints, put everything in proper stack view. So just do all of the UI and connect what code, you know, what basic code to the UI, whether it be buttons or scroll view or map UI kit, whatever it is, I'm comfortable enough to hook that up and I'm comfortable enough to set up Firebase within the app. And like I said, Google and referencing whatever material you have is a big software developer thing. So as I'm creating an application, I have all this material, whether it be in Udemy course or on Google to reference, but now I have my foundation and that's really what I was trying to get. I wanted to understand Xcode. I want to have a foundation of Swift and just kind of the process from A to Z, meaning from zero to app. And that's a big thing as long as you stick it out that you'll get with this course. Well, that kind of sounded sales pitchy, didn't it? Uh, another full disclosure, or is this on a disclaimer? Disclaimer? I don't know. You decide. Whatever. I have no official affiliate with Udemy or DevSlopes or, or Mark Price. Uh, I just have taken this course over the past however many months and I want to give a final review on it just to help you guys out, kind of give you an understanding of my thought process going through it and my thought process after it. And when I say my thought process going through it, my whole iDev journey series on this YouTube channel is revolved around this course because as I was learning this course, I was just discussing a few things that I was going over, kind of maybe teaching so I could better understand some of these things because if you understand it enough to teach it, you understand it. And although I'm not an official affiliate, I do have an affiliate link that just takes you directly to Udemy to this course. And what that basically is, is if you go to this course, if you use my link and you purchase the course, I get a fraction of what you pay. And that's just because I'm, di I'm the one directing you to the course. And that helps me, you know, kind of build up this channel and maintain this channel more so. So in other words, if you want to get the course, the link's in the description below. But to continue with the pros. So one thing I was looking when I was looking for a course, because I've taken one back in iOS 8 and I didn't finish it. Whether that be my motivation or not is not what we're talking about. But I know I didn't like the instructor's accent. Call me what you will, but it just it was hard for me to to stay in tune with them. Just and I just didn't feel motivated to continue with the course because I didn't. It was harder for me to understand the fella. But 
the other guy, Mark Price, in this Udemy course, talks similar to me, has the same accent as me for the most part. So it was real easy to understand him. And as I was going through this course, it was very easy to understand the concepts he was describing, not just because of his accent, but because he made analogies for concepts. So say there's this certain software or design or Xcode or Swift concept, I feel like he always had a real world, non-tech analogy, whether he talks about zebras or houses or what, I don't think he even talked about any of those things, but he knew how to relate it to real life. So it was just like, 10 times easier to understand than just kind of going over the code, you know? So it was really, really, really good when he was teaching the course. And I say that because there was like two or three other instructors in this course. Although the course, I believe, was mostly Mark. All the basics was Mark, so that's one of the most important things. And there's two other, two or three other uh, instructors. I think the Sketch 3 design guy, there's another one of him. I just haven't watched those videos, so I'm not 100% sure. But when we go through the weather app, that's another instructor, not Mark Price. And when you go through the building a social media with Firebase app, that is another guy. He has a British accent, kind of thick, kind of hard to understand, but it was easier for me to understand than some of the other people who commented because they're like, I've been looking forward to this course, but now I just can't understand the guy. I wish it was Mark, blah, blah, blah. And I understand where they're coming from because I was looking for a course that didn't have anyone with a thick accent, but... Just keep that in mind if you're looking to get this course set. If you're really looking forward to that, that part and you can't understand a British accent, then this may not be the course for you. And I can really go into a whole bunch of different details of why I like this course, but I've kind of covered them periodically over the past however many months of my iDev journey series on, on this channel. But let me talk about some of the cons. So you know that weather app instructor that isn't Mark Price or isn't the guy with the thick accent? His name's Caleb. Although I've seen some of his other videos are really good. I believe he had like three, maybe four videos, something around there. His very first video, where we basically first met the fella, was really bad. Um, not, to, not to be mean, because his other videos were really good. I don't understand exactly why he didn't correct this first video, but le let me explain a bit. It was a roughly 20 minute video, where 10 to 12 minutes of it was him going over the UI just to stop and then putting everything back to the way it was and just going on like like nothing ever happened. So what he should have done is gone back and post and just cut out that 10 to 12 minutes, but he didn't. What I ended up doing is just going back to the end of that video, looking at the UI, and since we had just gone over UI and stack view and constraints in another video, this time we're just implementing it in this specific app, I knew how to do all of that, so I just looked at the UI, okay, that's how he wants it to look, and I made it on my own. So. That was a tough video, but like I said, his next few videos were good. So I'm trying to think of another con, and I'm sure I've mentioned some other ones in other videos, but nothing's really coming off the top of my head. Oh, I remember one. Uh, there was at least one video that Mark recycled from his iOS 9 course. So some of the things didn't really make sense. I don't know if he's redone it now or if he plans to redo it in the future, but at the time of me going through it, because it was kind of, it was in the first half of the course, it was... I, I skipped it all together because I didn't really like it. And I don't know, I know there are more cons in there, but this would cause for me to go back through the whole entire course and try to figure out what exactly those cons were because I didn't write every single one of them down as I was going. But, but to really summarize all of this, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. Like I said before at the beginning of this video, I knew nothing coming into it, and now I can go ahead and create my own application, which I'm doing right now. I, if you're keeping up with my YouTube channel, if you're a returning subscriber, you'll see that I'm currently in the design process using Adobe XD of my application. So I am about to go into the development side of things, but I want to make sure I designed everything kind of, you know, so everything's in my head and I can take that and immediately implement my UI uh, kit into Xcode so I don't have to go back and replace each thing because otherwise I would create the design afterwards. I'm sure some things would change and that would just be a mess. The process from zero to app is you have an idea, you design it using Adobe XD or whatever. You have that basically as a UI kit and you prototype it and whatnot and you can use those symbols, those colors, all those things into your Xcode. Of course, you don't import just the image. 
and then you develop using all of those buttons and search views or whatever it is that you create in Xcode, but you use the design that you created on Adobe XD. And then after you're done designing it, you basically have an app. Of course, there's, there's debugging and tweaking and all that stuff, but that's the basic process of it. But we're getting off track. That's really the end of this video. If you have any questions about the course, let me know because I'll be happy to help you out. Check some of my other videos out if you feel like you want to take this course but aren't totally convinced. And of course, like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. And until next time, have a good one.